Missouri Valley Conference. It's an important game for both the Bradley Braves and the Panthers of Northern Iowa. Both jockeying for position in the Valley. Here's the picture in the league. First place, Indiana State got beat last night at Southern Illinois. That means Drake can get back into a first place tie with a win over Murray today in Des Moines. Meanwhile, Bradley and Northern Iowa have five games to secure a top four finish and secure a first round bye for the conference tournament. Hi again, everybody. Clay Matvick alongside my partner, Kevin Lehman. The Missouri Valley Conference regular season ends two weeks from today, and a lot still can happen. Five games left for everybody, and they're still trying to get in position. 33 years of madness at the Arch. Yeah. No team has ever won four games in four days and punched their ticket to the NCAA tournament. Northern Iowa, a tough team to beat here at home, but uh, this front court length for Bradley really poses a big problem. A look at the wingspan. And this is a DNA of Bradley length on the front line, seven foot one, but Leon's seven foot for Hannah. They challenge you at the rim, but more importantly, their ability to cause deflections and steals starts their break. It allows Duke Dean and Connor Hickman to get in the open court and knock down threes. Greg Maxwell, Steve Devine, and Brooks Wells are officiating crew. UNI in black, Bradley in white. And good news for the Panthers. The leading scorer, Nate Heisey, out there to start this game. He missed Wednesday's game against Valpo with an ankle injury. And going to work inside, there's Hannah for Bradley, but he comes up empty, and now Northern Iowa has its first possession. Heisey coming off a double-double in the game before the one he missed. Heisey leads him in points, assists, and rebounds. Titan Anderson coming off his best game in a couple of months. He had 20 points at Valpo the other night. Gets the first two for the Panthers. Here's Connor Hickman. So good in the backcourt for the Braves. His ability not only to shoot the three, but the pull-up mid-range jumper is deadly for Hickman. He's averaging 16 points per game in Valley play. Duke Dean, the smallest guy on the floor for Bradley. He plucks the rebound and gets it ahead to Malibai Leons, who misses from three. And with a big left hand, Anderson comes down with the board. This is a Panther team that they want to push the action, but Bradley great in their defensive transition. Boy, that's going to be so key today, really for both teams, the defensive transition. And Campbell steps into that deuce and knocks it down. There's Trey Campbell, sophomore from right here in Cedar Falls. But he is so smooth. His game is just effortless. Proud alum of Cedar Falls High School. Proud favorite here for obvious reasons. Dean with the floater doesn't go. There's Hudson. In the Missouri Valley Conference, the transfer from Loyola. He tries to slam it down and a little too deep on that stuff attempt. They got a great action on that pick and roll. Hudson has to finish those plays at the rim for the Panthers to be successful. Ben Jacobson would agree with you. They're working on his consistency. It's been an issue at times. Big game at 19 points in that win at Valpo for Hudson. They need that type of action again today against this big front line. Good defense here by UNI. Two on the shot clock. Leons forces it up. And that's what Northern Iowa's going to have to do today, Kev, to have their best success. Uh, Anderson's been sensational so far at the defensive end. Hudson again got inside. Couldn't finish. And Wardle told us they're not going to send a double unless Hudson really hurts them inside. They don't want to give up the three ball to the Panthers. Now Darius Hanna is going to get to the foul line. Boy, Hannah playing inspired here in the early minutes, Kevin, and it was even a question on whether he would be playing today. A little flu bug, and he has been just stellar performances for the Bradley Braves. One of the leaders in the nation in field goal percentage. So Darius Hannah, just a 58% foul shooter, coming off a career high 21 points against UIC. And again, uh, feeling all that great here the last couple of days. Looks like he's down a few pounds. Looks a little thin, but there's his points. 21 against UIC, a game I had on Wednesday. Eight for 10 from the field and eight rebounds for Hannah. He was tremendous 
in that performance. And that ended a two-game losing streak. That win. And Brian Ward's going to give him a rest. Early sub, Hannah. Limited minutes, as you mentioned, a touch of the flu bug for Darius Hanna. He's made Heisey going to work in the lane. He'll kick it back out for Bourne. No substitutions yet for Ben Jacobson's squad. Hudson again penetrates in deep. Brian Wardle kind of said he expected that from the Panthers. They're going to target inside play early, and that's what we're seeing. Well, I like Hudson, though. He missed those first two, but they came back to him again. That could be a confidence builder for Jacob Hudson. Atlason. Freshman from Iceland misses from three. Boren through to an open wing, and it's going to be a turnover for the Panthers as Jacobson's going to send in three new players with 16-28 to go here in the first. Nate Heisey back in the lineup for the Panthers. Sprained an ankle on Monday right before their game at Valpo. Did not play, but a double-double in the game before. And there's his numbers. He leads this team in three categories. Points, assists, rebounds, and maybe even hockey goals. No, that's his sister, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's having a career year. And that's after missing last season with a hand injury. And that time off, I think, helped his game. Different perspective sitting on the bench for Nate Heisey. As Duke Dean knocks down a deuce. And remember, Heisey was a freshman starter on a regular season championship in 2022 for the Panthers, their most experienced player. Tied at six here. Media timeout coming up in just a few seconds as Heisey knocks down a three. First three ball belongs to Nate Heisey. Six, five, great length on the perimeter. You've got to get to him and make him put it on the floor. He came into the game just three of 19. Outside the arc in those previous shots. That was blocked at the rim, and here comes Northern Iowa with Duax. The Panthers showing some link at the rim. And bounces down for R.J. Taylor, the 5'11 freshman. Only his fourth triple of the season for Taylor. That one tasted all of the 10. Dean's going to try a three. Left it short. And there's a foul underneath, and that's going to go against Dulax. But Northern Iowa is starting to heat up from the outside, and they've got a six-point lead on Bradley here at home. The Brian Wall's concerned. If they start making threes, they are difficult to guard. Great ball movement by the Panther. Heisey rattles one home. Anderson with a great kick out. And the kind bounce. Panthers off to a great start. Today, we accomplished nothing. I mean it, not a thing. And it was kind of everything. Stay two nights, get a free night at Best Western. You can feel confident Continental is the smart choice in tires. In the handle extremes? Yep, tested from the Texas desert to near the Arctic Circle. Really? Really. Anything for the guy who finds that one pothole? Yeah, road hazard coverage has your back. For real? Absolutely. Were they made by, like, a bajillion engineers? Well, closer to 100. Continental. Welcome to the Smart Choice in Tires. This is Carl. He never really thought much of his credit scores. Well, until he got Credit Karma and used his scores to move on up. By putting in the work to improve his scores, he got access to a better credit card. And that sofa she liked. Ooh, is that Saffron Sunrise? And when it came time to buy a home of his own, Credit Karma helped him take things to the next level. Just in time. Intuit Credit Karma. Download the money app where your hard work pays off. Women's College Hoops on ESPN and ABC. Well, Bradley comes into the day in third place in the Missouri Valley Conference. Three and three over their last six games in Valley play. Brian Wardle in his ninth year as head coach. There's the back of his head. Last year's Missouri Valley Coach of the Year. 
And then Northern Iowa, under the leadership of Ben Jacobson, is in his 18th season. And it's been a frustrating year at times. This was a team picked to finish second in the Missouri Valley Conference. They're hoping at this point just to be in the top four when the regular season ends in a couple of weeks. Big goal for them is getting that top four. As we mentioned in the open, no team has ever won four games in Arch Madness and punched their ticket. But Brian Wardle, he's come from that four spot twice, 2019 yeah. and 2020. Got an NCAA bid. Of course, 2020 was canceled because of COVID. Yeah, four might be a lucky charm for them. Hickman is stripped. Titan Anderson wants to run. Here come the Panthers. Duax got in deep. Gets it back for Henry. Now here's Heisey for three again, and he buries it. Good push by the Panthers. Got their feet in the paint. Kick it back out. Heisey. It's a big three. They got Bradley back on their heels defensively. And what Coach Jacobson tells today, he wanted to push the tempo exactly when he wanted to get the ball in the paint, find the three-point shooters on the perimeter, and knock them down. And a Bradley turnover as Northern Iowa is on a 9-0 run here. And they've also got five players off their bench. It's a hockey line change for the Panthers. Yeah, ben Jacobson told us at shoot around today. Be surprised if I send 10, 11 players out there today. Wants to use a lot of bodies against these Braves. Left hand, and it goes for Cole Henry. Getting some points on that five spot. Hudson and Henry. The big man on it, Jelenovic, 7-1 Serbian handling the ball at the point. Almost turned it over, and now it's going to stay with Bradley, but 11 seconds on the shot clock as the Panthers are giving the Braves some trouble defensively. Duax, very aggressive, trying to blow up that dribble handoff. One of the most physical players, Michael Duax. Duax made the All-Valley freshman team last year. Five on the shot clock for Leon to feed the corner. Here's Hannah, brings it in. And that's going to be a foul on Polk. Kyle Polk, freshman out of Missouri, called for the foul for Northern Iowa. That's a tough matchup for Polk because Hannah, explosive Steph, can put it on the floor. The left-hander is very, very explosive. 13 foul on Northern Iowa. I'll keep you on this. Now, I like to run these plays to get Hickman a look on the OB plays. He'll lob it in for Jonovic. A handoff for Hickman, and it's going to be a turnover for Bradley. One of their favorite plays in OB, that rub for Hickman, but illegal screen. Hannah, give him the traffic ticket. First foul on Darius Hannah, first foul on Bradley. Wonder Nine was made its last four shots. They're coming off a great game where they shot 67% at Valpo Wednesday night. Season best in that 86-67 win, and they picked up where they left off. Play the second half, they shot 80% yeah, at about Valpo. That. Unbelievable. I can't do that in the layup line. Both try to three, and he's going to be fouled. Three foul shots coming for the freshman. As Darius Hanna picks up two quick fouls for the Braves. And remember, he's going to be limited today anyway, Kevin, because of his illness. He's out there challenging the shot. He's got a piece of poke as he went by. But that's what Northern Iowa does to you, Clay. They're got you spread out shooting that three ball. They were three or four to start. Got Bradley chasing on the perimeter. Yeah, Brian Wardle was probably thinking, all right, I got to pick my spots to where I can use Darius Hanna today because he's not feeling great. But now that might be taken away from him as far as when and where because he's got two early fouls. He'll go to the bench. One of the areas that Ward was concerned too, not a lot of depth on this team. And you and I get a lot of mileage from this second group that Ben Jacobson is playing extended minutes. How about this start for Northern Iowa, 19 to 6. So 13-0 run for the Panthers at home. Adlison dumps it inside, double teamed as Leons. Out for Davis, back inside for the big man. The Serbian going up, had it partially blocked. 
And touched by the Panthers out of bounds. Nine on the shot clock for Bradley. Cole Henry with the challenge. That's his second one inside. The former 6'9 high school quarterback <laughs> is up there challenging Yonavec, who's got a 7'6 wingspan. Another hockey line change, as you call him, Kev. Three new players on the floor as Hickman hits ahead of the buzzer from outside the arc. The port in the storm. Connor Hickman settles things down for the Braves. Born, born back on the floor. It's been an up and down year for Bowen Bourne. The lefty from three off the front iron. Hudson tried to corral the rebound, but Leon, who's so good inside defensively, is able to corral it for Bradley. And the Panthers, they're going to send four back on defense. Only one crash in the offensive glass. First foul on Trey Campbell. Comes Duke Dean ready to check back in as Hickman will take a blow. Bradley's got some depth in the front line, but thin in the backcourt with Hickman and Dean and Birch. Duke Dean, 10 games this year, 15 or more points. He's playing with a ton of confidence. Goes inside to Yonovic, and Yonovic is fouled. Great read by. Campbell coming over from the weak side, but got there a little bit late and stuck his hand in there to pick up the foul. That's a second on Campbell. It's going to send Yonovic to the line. This guy who uh, moves pretty well for his size, seven foot one, as I've said before. His nickname is Meta, and he hasn't been too bad at the foul line, as you can see. Well, the ESPN Big Monday, a doubleheader, number 21, Virginia in Blacksburg to take on Virginia Tech at 7 Eastern. And they have first place in the Big 12 on the line, Houston and Iowa State. Top 10 head-to-head. -head. Iowa State's won four straight, Houston three straight. Winner will be in first place in the Big 12. Play. A great backcourt there in that matchup between Houston and Iowa State. Taman Lipsy, Tishon Gilbert for Iowa State against TJ, LJ Cryer, and Jamel Shee. That's one you gotta watch. Eight point lead for Northern Iowa. Went from the outset in this one. And Dean got a hand on it. 12 seconds on the shot clock for the Panthers. And again, Northern Iowa, they entered the day in a three way tie for fifth in the Missouri Valley. With a win today, they'll move into a tie for fourth. We talked about how important that is. Corner shot. It's left short for Landon Wolf. Leon's attacks. Off balance doesn't go. Missed opportunity for the Braves. and I were trying to split the regular season series with Bradley. That goes down. Boy, they excel at getting their feet in the paint and then filling in behind the driver, as we saw that time with Polk, slides in behind the penetration, the kick out, another three for the Panthers. That doesn't go for Dean, a foul underneath. It's gonna go against Bradley. Now Landon Wolf knocks down a three at 16 on Wednesday. He hit three threes, and that one makes it an 11-point game for Northern Iowa. Well, the Panthers, that is their fourth triple for Wolf, who's got the hot hand for the Panthers. With no fees or minimums, and no overdraft fees, banking with Capital One is the easiest decision in the history of decisions. <laughs> Even easier than this. I'll take Barkley. Yes, I still got it. I told you she'd pick me first. <laughs> yep, even easier than that. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, is it even a decision? That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? And we're done. What about these? Looks right. No! No! Quick, the 
Quicker Picker Upper. Only Bounty absorbs spills like a sponge. And Bounty is two times more absorbent, so you can use less and get the job done with one. This works. Kind of. Bounty, the Quicker Picker Upper. And get four rolls in one with the Bounty Mega Roll, our longest lasting roll. When you have a history of greatness, the real challenge starts after the finish line. When victory alone isn't enough, you raise your bar, keep dreaming, and go beyond the limits of what you ever thought possible. The new 2024 Ridgeline Passport and Pilot, part of our most rugged trail sport lineup yet. From Honda. Clay Manta, Kevin Lehman back here at the McLeod Center on the campus of Northern Iowa. Always great to be back in this state this time of year. Such a great basketball state, sports state. Overall, of course, everyone's got Caitlin Clark fever around here. And Brock Purdy did pretty well for himself in the Super Bowl, even though they fell a little short. What a year for former Cyclone. Tyrese Halliburton leading the NBA. 11 assists a game and Iowa State men's basketball to get a piece of that Big 12 title. But only in Iowa, Clay, six degrees of separation. Caitlin Clark's brother plays football at Iowa State. He's going to be in Brock Purdy's wedding. Yeah, and that's uh, it's only in Iowa that happens. <laughs> ben Jacobson's team out to a great start in this basketball game. Trying to win two in a row for the first time in a month. And they have punched Bradley right in the mouth. It's a 22 to 11 lead. So we approach the midway point of the first half. My world told him, if I, you and I gets it cooking, watch out. Because they can spread you out with that three ball, and then they attack you inside. Boring. Can't get it to go. Outside. And a foul over the back as Hudson pumps his fist. Damarian Birch commits the foul. I like what I'm seeing out of Jacob Hudson as far as being aggressive, showing some emotion, and some battle inside against that long front line of the Bradley Braves. Bradley beat Northern Iowa by 16 on January 31st, 85-69. And Clay, they control that game from start to finish, the Braves did. I see. That was an unorthodox shot attempt. to Marion Birch, the terrific freshman out of Milwaukee, turns it over. Born. Wolf will wait for reinforcements. Born for three. Yes. Bowen Born. Needs just seven points now to break in the top ten. All time in scoring in Northern Iowa. He hits another three for the Panthers as the lead swells to 14. Live sports. So this is your first time buying a home? Yeah, this is first time doing any of this. And honestly, we definitely have the stress and anxiety part too. I know this can all seem a bit overwhelming, but everything is in the email I sent you the other day. It'll go a long way to ease those new anxieties. Information about financing, inspections. The email. And if you haven't looked at it yet, let's go through it together. Oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> The Panthers have been hot from outside, Clay. They've been getting it going here in a number of players. Five of eight from three. Great ball move. They've got their feet in the paint and kicked it outside for open threes. And been from a number of players. There's Wolf who's got the hot hand knocking that one down. Today, 4-7 from distance for the Panthers. Now five and eight. Five of eight from three. Hickman around the screen, quickly double teamed, and there's another Bradley giveaway. Titan Anderson taking it in, had it blocked by Lyons. That's what he does. Back and forth we go. The rash of turnovers for nice finger roll by Bowen. Now that is the 12th point for the Panthers off Bradley turnovers. 12 to 2. 
for you and I as they've been active on the defensive end, active hands. Leons has been quiet in this one. The 6'9 Dutchman goes inside to Jonovic. Jonovic, step over, doesn't go. And Bradley really struggling here in the first half. Anderson had it blocked. Nope, that's going to be a foul on Jonovic. That's his second. Northern Iowa, the aggressor on offense. They've pushed this tempo. Great feet by Bowen Bourne. And Jonovic at 7 6 tries to get a piece of that one, but comes over the shoulder. Anderson at the line. Titan Anderson. 20 points at Valpo. He was 9 of 12 from the field. As Ben Jacobson will bring in three fresh bodies. When you look through the Valley, Clay, this is the one team, the Panthers, that have a lot of depth. And Ben Jacobson talked about, you got to win those three games in March. Yeah. I'm going to develop 10 deep. Anderson gets them both. Boy, Bradley. Three of 14 from the field to start this game, and one of four from three. The ball pressure by Northern Iowa has been terrific to start this game. Inside to Hannah. Trying to stop a 10-0 run. That's blocked by Henry. Loose ball picked up by Titan Anderson. Third time Henry's been a force near the rim. 18-point lead for the Panthers. Jay Taylor, the freshman from Michigan, will give it away. As, no, it's Cole Henry with a foul, another illegal screen. They do that dribble handoff. Henry's going to stick a leg out. Pick up a turnover. Only the second for the Panthers that they have played this first half error-free. It's team foul number six for Northern Iowa, so Brian Wardle's team, at least from here on out, will be at the free throw line. A little over eight minutes to go in the half. Duke Dean's got to get going. He's the emotional leader for this Bradley Brave team. They have locked him up. And you've talked about it already this half, Kevin. He's been very confident. He just haven't isolated him enough, I don't think, in this first half. Nice put back by Davis off the miss. Usually a key man off the bench. He got the start today. Two Panthers fighting for the rebound. They knocked it right to Davis. He's coming off a great game against UIC. We had nine points and nine rebounds. Now a zone look from the Braves. Heisey, deep three. That doesn't go. Anderson blocked from behind by Hannah. And we've got a timeout on the floor. 29-13, Northern Iowa leading here with 7.30 to go in the first half. Panthers off to a great start. They've been knocking in the three ball. Can Bradley make a run back? Being the best takes hard work. That's why Old Dominion Freight Line, the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. No fees or minimums and no overdraft fees are another reason banking with Capital One is an even easier decision than this. I'll take Barkley. Yes! Yep, even easier than that. What's in your wallet? People who come to Cricut stay with Cricut. I'm a full-time artist and business owner. I love that Cricut helps me share my artwork, create content, and stay in touch with customers. Coverage is a beautiful thing. Smile, you're on Cricut.
So this is your first time buying a home? Yeah, this is first time doing any of this. And honestly, we definitely have the stress and anxiety part too. I know this can all seem a bit overwhelming, but everything is in the email I sent you the other day. It'll go a long way to ease those new anxieties. Information about financing, inspections. The email. And if you haven't looked at it yet, let's go through it together. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Expertise, just one of the many ways an agent who's a realtor works for you. Well, in Terre Haute, Indiana, they were starting to feel like it was Larry Bird all over again. 1979, get ranked, but then they've lost back-to-back -back games. Lost at Southern Illinois last night. Xavier Johnson was terrific. Drake is playing right now. They have won three straight. They win today against Murray and Des Moines, and they're in a tie for first place with the Sycamores. Yeah, big game now at the Knapp Center, because Murray is also with Northern Iowa in that log jam trying to get that four seed. Xavier Johnson in that win over Indiana State, 21 points for one of the leading scores in the nation. Eight rebounds and six assists for the X-Man, Xavier Johnson for the Slokies. Northern Iowa with it leading 29 to 13. Under eight minutes to go first half. Henry had it poked away by Hickman. A little floor burn kept alive by the Panthers. Heisey goes in for the dunk, had it blocked. Man, this is the kind of hustle a coach loves to see. Now we talked about the link of Bradley, but Northern Iowa has been fearless in this gameplay. They are attacking the rim. Gets that great length of the Bradley Braves. Now Duke Dean just got called for his first foul. Trying to feed that pass to Duax. Hickman knocks it away. Turnovers have been a real problem for Bradley in this game. Northern Iowa has turned six Bradley turnovers into 12 points. Last time at Peoria, Bradley only had nine turnovers. Only six in this one. And now Bradley gets a break. And Polk steps out of bounds on the sideline to turn over. But that is a dead ball turnover that allows the Panthers to set their defense. And R.J. Taylor is locked onto Duke Dean. They know Duke Dean is the guy that can get this Bradley offense going. Fresh off the bench, R.J. Taylor going chest to chest with the Duke. Good defense by Henry to recover and get all over Hannah. Hickman for three, short. And Heisey will bring it ahead for Northern Iowa. Duax chasing Hickman over the top of those screens, making those looks tough for him. Taylor, nice backdoor feed for Heisey. Taylor had a hand on him at six foot nine with that length, but Taylor's able to weave in and out, get the bounce pass on the backdoor Princeton cut. Eight for Heisey, he leads everybody. The Panthers, they lull you to sleep, lift you off the baseline. Heisey known for those baseline cuts. Now Leon still hasn't found it. Well, Panther gets tripped. Lance had a nice look. This is a Northern Iowa team that is connected at the defensive end. I see eight points in this game. Last time they played, they only had four points a season low in 35 minutes. Northern Iowa will give it away here. I watch the backup point guard, R.J. Taylor, weaving it out. Dean gets caught watching the paint dry. And here comes Heisey. <laughs> Punch through on the baseline. Taylor gets a hand from this crowd. Great effort off the bench. Nice. Those are key minutes here in the first half. And Jacobson said, yeah, we're going to play a lot of guys. I need my bench to really step up today. Taylor's certainly doing his part. Hickman in close. Yeah, that was a goal tip. Good call by Brian Warler. So much pressure on his guards. A rub for Hickman to get him going to the rim. Duas gets hung up, arrives late. Goal 10. That's a counter move that Ward is going to use to try to.
take advantage of the pressure that Nolan Iowa was putting on his guards on the perimeter. Man, that was close. Natalie down 16. They've been down by as many as 18 in this game here in the first half. Duax will try a three, and he got it. They're in the 1 2 2 zone. That is a zone buster out of the corner. Five minutes to go in the half. Loose ball, another Bradley giveaway. More quick hands by the Panthers. Duax had it knocked away. Bradley's got to get some momentum here before the half. They are one of seven from outside the arc. They've hit just five field goals here in the first half. Another good defensive set by the Panthers. Dean for three. Duax has got it. He's in a real battle there with Davis with a loose ball. Out muscled him. Pope for three. They've kept Dean under control in transition. Between Taylor and Bourne. Dean drives. Leon's the up and under, and he's fouled. So Malibai Leon's will go to the line. Time out on the floor, Northern Iowa. Sending a message to the Braves here in the first half. Some people just know that the best rate for you is a rate based on you. Not Paul. You don't want to ride with Paul. Get a rate based on you with DriveWise and the Allstate app. When you have a history of greatness, you keep dreaming and go beyond what's possible. The new 2024 Ridgeline Passport and Pilot. Part of our most rugged trail sport lineup yet. From Honda. You don't make me get up out my seat. Broke the internet again. Oh, it's coming in really fast. Yeah, it's Verizon 5G. The network is crazy powerful. I bet you can't break that. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I can. Wait, what? Beyonce breaks the internet, but can she break Verizon? Broken? Not even close. No. I'm running for Beyonce of the United States. Can you hear me now? No breaking. Y'all ready for Rocket B? Still works. Someone get me down. When I found out I was going to be a parent, I immediately felt a lot of anxiety and worry. So I went on to BetterHelp to try to look for a therapist to help me with that. My relationship with my family and with my boyfriend and with myself were suffering. I really needed help. I was ruminating a lot. Really getting those thoughts out to a therapist and getting feedback was just life changing. It was kind of like this, they were asleep. Well, Northern Iowa has had a couple of nice runs here in the first half. And they've got their biggest lead right now of 19 points. Bradley has a couple of starters, Darius Hanna and Malavai Leons, who have no points in this ballgame. And as a team, 5 of 21 from the field, just 1 of 7 from 3. Well, Ben Jackson told us this morning his message to his team was play harder and play faster. He's done it with 10 players, great energy off the bench for the Panthers, and they have done just that here in the first half. They've played harder and faster than the Bradley Braves. 
again a win and they'll be in a tie for fourth place in the Missouri Valley Conference. What the officials are talking about right now Kevin Lehman is that goaltend from earlier. And get an official to come over here. Here's Brooks Wells to talk to Kevin. What do you tell you Kevin? That's one of the new rules Clay that the goaltend when they get a dead ball they can go back and review it. That basket is good called the goaltend. The ball came off the glass. Duox got it after it was on the window. So Malavai Leons will go to the line. He has made 12 straight free throws. And that is his first point. ACC Women's Basketball Big Monday on ESPN2. Freshman feed on Hannah Hidalgo. And Notre Dame taking on Duke at the Cameron Indoor Stadium. Coverage begins at 7 Eastern. As Leon's hits a couple. 34-17 Northern Iowa. Well, Bradley with some full court pressure. They will use this drop back into that 1-2-2 zone. And to take the Panthers out of rhythm. UNI shooting 50% from the floor. They've got three three-point shooters on the floor. There's one right there in the corner. Landon Wolf, a little strong. And Hickman was pushed. That's going to be a foul on Hudson. That's going to be number two on Jacob. And so now Northern Iowa has three players with two fouls. And that's going to be a one and one opportunity. Hudson has arm underneath Hickman. But I like what I've seen out of Hudson today. He came out aggressive. Remember, he missed his first two shots, Clay. And he came right back and scored on the third one. And Cole Henry, who's back in the game now, has been a factor at the defensive end for the Panthers. Connor Hickman has eight points for Bradley. There is nobody else who has played for the Braves today who has more than two points. You and I. Terrific job of taking Duke Dean, taking his open looks away. But this is an important time for the Braves. Can they cut into this lead before they go into halftime or in the last 320 of this game, of this first half? Free throws keeping Bradley in this one. And allows them to set their defense. Anderson so athletic out of that pivot position. Goes inside, triple teamed. He'll feed Wolf again. You bet! Landon Wolf buries another three for Northern Iowa. He hit seven here in the half. He was red hot in that game at Valpo at three of five. And then Hickman, it's another layup. And Connor Hickman just trying to will his team back here in the final minutes of the first half. Bowen Bourne rattles home another triple. It's tough to play zone for any length of time against Northern Iowa. Too many shooters with Wolf, Bourne, Heisey. Dean Probin, fall away. No, it's been that kind of day for Duke Dean. Bourne, Bourne, chest him up defensively. Panthers take a measured pace on this position. Another great backdoor cut. Everybody getting a touch. Poked away by Hannah. Titan Anderson picks up the loose ball. And then Henry tried to. A rare fractured possession by the Panthers. They knocked Bradley out of that zone. Gray's back into man to man. Ben Jacobson. No one has won more Missouri Valley Conference games in league history. Past the great Henry Iba, and they'll win over Southern Illinois here at the McLeod Center. Anderson quickly gets on Hannah. Leon's left open for three, and boy, did Bradley need to see that go down. Now the Braves need to make a stop. Hard key in the game as Dean gets a rest. First field goal for Leon's. Wolf, another three attempt. Didn't follow his shot. Easy rebound for Hartke in the game as Dean gets a rest. 
First field goal for Leon's. Wolf, another three attempt. Didn't follow his shot. Easy rebound for Atlason. Minute 20 to go. Henry battling Hannah. Hannah didn't get the hook shot to go, but it's out of bounds, and Northern Iowa will have it. Hannah in the short roll, usually very effective right there in front of the rim. But Henry has been exceptional at the defensive end for Northern Iowa. He sure has. Venture Jr. out of Oskaloosa. Here's Taylor getting it into the front court. Again, Ben Jackson with great confidence in his bench. He has played 11 guys here in the first half. Wolf, he'll slam it down. How about that? Attacks and rams it home with authority. Another product of Cedar Falls, Landon Wolf. And Hannah will retaliate with a left-handed jam of his own. That's where Hannah's good, in that short roll position where he can catch it at the Valley logo, finish above the rim. That's the first field goal for Hannah. And a timeout, Northern Iowa with 21 seconds to go in the half. And Northern Iowa playing like a team that has received the message from Ben Jacobson. Landon Wolf, he is a three-point shooter. He's going to put it on the deck, climb up that ladder, and punch it through right on that front line length of the Bradley Braves. You were talking about it. Hey, guys, you know, the message is pretty simple here the last five or six games of the year. I need you to just play harder. I need you to play faster. Ben Jacobson's been coaching in the Valley for a long time. He knows what it takes to get it done this time of year, and usually it's pretty simple. <laughs> yeah, play harder, and their pace, they've set the pace. They've got Bradley back on their heels. Bradley, and, but Clay, it starts at the defensive end because Bradley hasn't been able to set their defense because they've been in transition early in this game, able to get some free throws in later and set their D, but there's a good look at the Dean of Valley coaches, Ben Jacobson. You and I lost seven of its first 10 games, then before Christmas started a streak where they won nine of 10. Looked like everything was gonna start working out okay. Lately, it's been trending down again, but here in the first half, they have looked like gangbusters. And it's gonna be a foul. Bradley picks up another personal, and Malavai Leon's Shaking his head, it's his first. And you're going to put the best free throw shooter in the league at the free throw line. Who needs just two points to move into the top ten all time in scoring at Northern Iowa. And usually when he gets to the stripe, he doesn't miss. 90% foul shooter. 17th nationally in free throw percentage. One and one opportunity here for Bowen Bourne. Even we can't jinx him. Well, I don't know. He grew up, his dad was a scout for Portland, now with the Pacers. He grew up in the Portland Trailblazers locker room. Damian Lillard is Bowen Bourne's hero. So Bowen Bourne on the top 10 in school history is going to sit down here for the final. 11 seconds. Bradley can get a hoop here going into halftime. Another turnover. Heisey at the buzzer. Biggest halftime lead in any Valley game this year. Northern Iowa, 44 to 26, leading Bradley at the half. And we got to show it one more time as we go to break. This kind of epitomizes what happened here in the first half. Landon Wolf driving and hammers it down. Halftime here in Cedar Falls. Now let's go to Kevin Connors and Tom Crean in the studio.
Give her the ball. Are you kidding me? And it's a tie game. He drops it. I can't believe what I am witnessing. The streak wins. It's in for the win. Oh! Champ week for the Missouri Valley Conference will be in St. Louis as it has been for over three decades and both of these teams jockeying for the best seed that they can possibly get. They want to both finish in the top four in Northern Iowa with a terrific first half. Kevin Lehman leading 44 26 as we look forward to the second half. Eight threes from the Panthers in the first 20 minutes. Four of those half of that number came from the bench. Four of eight from the bench. They were a high efficiency threes also. Yeah. Northern Iowa came out of the gate strong. They got Bradley back on their heels. And they also did with some great defense. But look at these trees. That one's from the printer, but the rest of them are in the paint. Throw it out to be great. If they've sprayed this ball around Heisey, knocking in a couple threes. Look at all the assists. Wolf with a step in three. The kick out, Duax, another bench triple. Anderson gets out of traffic. Wolf, another player off the bench. And then Bowen Bourne, we know he can make triples. And then on the other side, Leon's and Hannah, who we focused on at the top of the broadcast. Just not a lot offensively. Combined two of nine, but credit the pressure of Northern Iowa's guards to keep the ball out of the pit, out of the Bradley's front line. Keep in mind that Bradley came back from 23 down in the second half last month at Southern Illinois. You can never count this team out. Anderson with three on the shot clock. And there's a step out of bounds. So it's going to stay on this end. Well, Bradley can't believe it. Connor Hickman's walking back down the floor. And the shot clock is going to be at two for Northern Iowa. They're going to have a under the basket inbound play. They ruled no possession by Bradley when they thought they had a steal, but stepped on the inline. Campbell gets it in. Bourne at the horn. But it's short. And on the backside, Hannah is fouled. That's going to go against Titan Anderson, his first. Well, Campbell thought it was going to be his, but it was not. Campbell set most of that first half with two fouls. Put his head in his hands. He thought that was going to be his third. Bradley shot just over 30% in the first half. Trying to heat up. Connor Hickman with 11 in the first 20 minutes. Drops it down to Hannah. Titan Anderson quickly bodies him up. And they're going to count that. Well, the crowd wanted a hook on Darius Hanna on the drive as he wrapped his right elbow around the defender. Watch Hanna on this drive. Right there, right arm, hook, no call, shovel pass. That's second on Titan Anderson. And now Leons goes inside, just snakes in, and gets the basket. Hickman gets the penetration, a pocket pass. That's what we need more from the Bradley Braves. We talked about the length and the active hands of that front line. Hannah can get out and disrupt on the perimeter. The Braves need to knock a couple of those loose and get some baskets in transition. Who's Hudson? He had two points in the first half, going to work on Leon's. Double team comes over with Hannah. And Titan Anderson, he'll get fouled. That's what you give up when you double team off the opposite post is the weak side rebound. And Titan Anderson is right in there to clean that up. They're going to call the non-shooting foul. And Anderson was ready to shoot foul shots. Dean, his second personal. Darius Hanna was limited in that first half. He picked up a couple of early fouls. He's played 13 minutes in this game so far. There's a three for Campbell. 
And the outside shooting continues to be hot for Northern Iowa. And the Panthers thought they had another turnover, but it's going to stay with Bradley. Cedar Falls product, Trey Campbell. This is old school. Look at the jab step. Back up the defender, drills it. Duke Dean just two points in this game. One of six from the field. He's got it here on the near wing. A couple of minutes into the second half, it's been all Northern Iowa today. Hannah, not feeling great, came into this game with a bit of the flu, but strokes that one down as Bradley gets back to within 17. That's about two steps outside his normal range for Darius Hanna, but knocked it down for the Braves. Hudson muscles his way inside. He finds himself on the foul line. Tough first half for Darius Hanna, the left-hander, the leaders not only in the Valley, but in the nation in field goal percentage. Made that look easy right over the top of Hudson. Now with by Leons. A couple of fouls now for last year's Missouri Valley Defensive Player of the Year. Second in the league in steals, third in blocks. You know, they can't afford to get him into foul trouble here early in the second half. Bradley needs to create some offense with their defense. They got to knock a couple loose, get some run outs. And I like this matchup on Hudson. Hannah. Little shimmy shake trying to get Titan off balance. And that's another foul on Titan Anderson, his third. So he's the first player in this game to three kill. And they need his physicality inside. The best frontline athlete for the Panthers is Titan Anderson. They go against that link and athletic ability of Leons and Hannah. There's another step on the sideline, a giveaway. Clay, that's a bad spot in the court. We've seen that happen early in the first half. Out of bounds right in front of Bradley Bent. And Brian Ward will kind of, you know, that look says it all. Turnover number 10 for Bradley. The Braves have really struggled with this UNI defense today. He was concerned about Northern Ives, and when they can get it cooking offensively with great ball movement, they're as good as anybody in the league offensively and tough to stop, especially here in the McLeod Center. Well, Dean is going to go to the bench. He just got his third foul. As Brian Wardle is going to look down to Cade Hardke and bring him in. And Dean, you talked about how his confidence is really at a sky-high level. Not a lot of opportunities in the first half. He wasn't featured much in the offense in the first half, and that, that might be credit to Northern Iowa's defense. R.J. Taylor off the bench on ball defense on Dean. Now, Dean is a guy who's three times or twice. He's hit seven threes in the game. If anybody brings him back, it'll be Duke Dean getting hot from the perimeter. And Hickman, too. Yep. And that's a guy who can will a team back. Connor Hickman. And the Braves with 22 the last time these two teams played. He hit four threes in that game. He's got one so far today. You saw the effects of Hickman when he got hurt in that Indiana State game. And they lost three in a row after that. He came back, and the Braves won nine in a row when Connor Hickman got healthy. Jonovic, the seven foot one Serbian, back in the game for Bradley. Davis for three. And Heisey with that tender ankle and all. You know, I don't think he's at 100%. He might tell you he is. And he was a little strong on that layup attempt. He's moving around pretty good today. Yeah, we asked him when he came by. Is it 100%? He, looked, he just shrugged and he goes, it's as good as it can be right now. <laughs> Everybody's got a little bump or bruise at this time of year. Now he's 6'5", 210. How is he? Great athlete. There's a foul out high. That's going to again be on R.J. Taylor as we step aside.
The lead is 18 for Northern Iowa. Back in a moment. have a history of greatness you keep dreaming and go beyond what's possible the new 2024 ridgeline passport and pilot part of our most rugged trail sport lineup yet from honda now for just $1.99, enjoy the Sonic Quarter Pound Double Cheeseburger. Because we value value just as much as we value tasty burgers, we decided to shrink the price of this melty fan favorite. In finance, they call that one heck of a deal. $1.99 Sonic Quarter Pound Double Cheeseburger. No fees or minimums and no overdraft fees are another reason banking with Capital One is an even easier decision than this. I'll take Barkley. Yes! Yep, even easier than that. What's in your wallet? I bought three of the same jacket to get the fourth free. I subscribed to get a deal on these memory supplements, then forgot to cancel. Yeah, well, you know, recognizing a bad deal is a part of the journey. Yes, Eva, would you like to share your breakthrough? I got AT&T's best deal on the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus and got to choose my plan. Aww. Yes, we don't make you sign up for the top tier plan to get our best deal. I still haven't gone. I subscribed to get yeah, a deal. Yeah, we know. Get the newest Galaxy on us with any of our best plans, guaranteed. Our generation isn't turning away from the world's problems. Watch us fly ahead, rise to every challenge, and overcome anything. Watch us become the next greatest generation. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments through the falling hydration levels. Mm. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Rehydrate, replenish, refuel. Black history always, and today we highlight James Jackson. Jumpin' Jim played at Northern Iowa from 1958 to 61, finished his career with 891 points and almost 1,100 rebounds. First African-American to be inducted into the UNI Athletics Hall of Fame, was also elected to the Iowa House of Representatives in 1964. Unfortunately, he passed away in 2001, but what great to member of this institution great story a local product also a waterloo east high graduate james jackson also spent some time as ceo in the pepsi corporation was that right? it's fun to highlight these folks from the past it's such a difference malavai leon's toe in the line Malavai, eight points now. Fifteen straight free throws for Malavai Leons. He's come off that 18-point game against UIC. He has really grown in confidence offensively, the defensive player of the year in the Valley last year, Leons. Well, Duax, a lot of control and nobody there to help him out. And now Leons will open to the front court. Dweck's six. going against the seven foot six reach of Jonovic. Leons around Polk, and he got it with the left hand. Malavai coming alive. He averages 14 points. Brian Ward has won more and more isolation play for Leons of late as his confidence, his offensive abilities. Have reached their empty possession for Northern Iowa. Leon's down with 11 points. Great spin move, Billy, to finish in traffic. They've got this thing down to 14 with the ball. You mentioned that comeback at Southern Illinois. I was on that call. 23 down the second half. The Braves came back and won that game against the Slukies. Trying to add to a 6 0 run. Here's Jonovic. Polk got his hand in there to poke at it. Shot clock. Oh, how about that? Oh, oh baby. Oh, baby. 
If that's a sign of what's in store here for Bradley, maybe they have another comeback in them. Duke Dean sitting on the bench, itching to get back in this game. Off balance three for Leons. Now the lead has been cut to 11 for the Panthers. They led by 21 at one point late in the first half. And that's going to be a foul. We'll see who they get for this one. It's Jonovic, and that's the third on the seven-footer. Albert Leons, he's from the Netherlands, came to Bradley from a junior college. He scored over 1,000 points in his three years at Bradley. A little offense by accident. Big wow. triple. Yeah, I don't know that that guy does anything by accident. <laughs> and he has scored Bradley's last seven points. As the Braves have clawed their way back to within arm's reach of this UNI club who came out swinging today. Bradley has never led in this game. Right from the outset, Northern Iowa pushed Bradley down. And they've been trying to dig out of a big hole ever since. And it started with Northern Iowa's bench. Now Duke Dean back in the game. Dean can get it going. Let's see if Duke can play with some screens at the top. Get some threes off. Dean with just two points. He averages 14. Davis as they isolate Leon's. Heisey watching him. This is a good matchup. Leon's. He'll get to the foul line. Malavai Leon's taking this team on his shoulders, Kevin. Got that play inside and got the three at the buzzer. And now they're trying to ISO him. And when we visit with Brian Ward, he said, yeah, we're running more isolation plays for Leon's. His ability to score at 12 feet and in at the length and his soft touch. And with the graduation or the moving on of Rink Mass of Nebraska, Zeke Montgomery left. Lands is asked to do more at the offensive end for this Bradley team. Coming on here in the second half for the Braves. Northern Iowa is going to come alive. Their last basket came over five minutes ago. And that's not a bounce off of Titan Anderson. The Braves will get it back. A chance to cut this to single digits. The Braves able to score, and the scoring has helped them set their defense. They can use that length inside to disrupt. Leon's on a 9-0 run. Can he keep it going? Draws the front iron. Davis kept it alive for the Braves. Dean missed badly. But he's fouled. Duke Dean will go to the line. As Bowen Bourne fouled the three-point shooter. Now you're looking at last year's regular season champions, the Bradley Braves. They will not go quietly in this game. There's Bourne trying to challenge it. A run by. Car wash foul. A brush by. Now what do they say, you know, to get out of a shooting slump, just get into the line, seeing the ball go through the hoop. Maybe that's what's going to happen here for Dean as he gets the first two as another one coming. This season compared to last, boy, he's elevated his game. Yeah, look at the uh, shooting percentages and credit a lot to the assistant, Daryl Brown, who played for the Braves and was the Arch Madness MVP in 2020. Has really worked with these guards, Dean and Hickman, on their shooting and their release, their ability to create space on their jump shot. Stolen away by Hickman. Blocked by Anderson. Boy, Titan with a big defensive play there after the giveaway. Now Bourne penetrates, floats it up. Nothing doing. Anderson keeps it alive. And a foul away from the ball on Hardke. As Landon Wolf was streaking across the lane, Kate Hardke held him up. Now, Clay, here's a stat now. That's the 15 foul on Bradley, but the Braves are already in the one on one. Yeah. We've got 12.30 left. They'll be shooting free throws from here on out. 
Titan Anderson, good extra pass for Hudson. Boy, there wasn't much room to, to thread the needle, but he found enough, and he got it down on the baseline. And Hudson able to turn his shoulders to protect the ball from the shot blocker, Darius Hanna. Four for the transfer from Loyola. Now Hanna on the alley-oop. He is fouled. Jacob Hudson thought he had all ball, but instead, that's going to be his third foul. Warden likes to use this when there's a hedge on the perimeter by Hudson. They're going to roll Hanna to the rim. And the guards just throw it up, and Hanna uses his link and leaping ability to go grab it. Shooting well from the free throw line today, Darius Hanna. Bradley hasn't missed a foul shot yet today. And again, when you score the free throw line play, it allows you to set your defense in the first half. Bradley wasn't scoring and allowed the Panthers to play with great rhythm. Now they don't have that same rhythm here in the second half. Seven-point game. And that's going to be a Darius Hanna foul. His third. Well, Bradley was down 21 points in this game. They have clawed back to make it interesting. Midway point of the second half. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Back here in Cedar Falls at the McLeod Center and there's a couple of uh, former UNI greats on this campus. Now back on this campus, Bob Bowlesby and A.J. Green. I guess you could say Bob Bowlesby is back as uh, interim AD, so he's still current here. A.J. Green, two-time Larry Bird recipient as Valley Player of the Year, now playing for the Bucks. Had a game a couple weeks ago, he had 27 points for the Bucks. And Bob Bowlesby is going in the Missouri Valley Conference Hall of Fame, the former athletic director here when the Panthers made their move into the Missouri Valley Conference. Two of the greats, yeah, no the Panthers. Oh, Braves with another takeaway. A 
I'll tell you, Bradley's gotten back into this game, Kevin, at the free throw line. They are 17 of 17 at the stripe. But now Bradley will turn it over. That one's on Davis on the illegal screen. That is a rally killer for the Braves. But again, a dead ball turnover allows them to set their defense. Northern Iowa has not got the same looks they got in the first half. Skip pass, Campbell. Wide open is Hudson, the big man. This is. It's not his forte, just 14% from outside the yard. He's, only, he's only made a couple. Hickman. Left it short. Campbell with the rebound. Northern Iowa has been in a drought here the last several minutes. Not playing with the same speed that they did to open this game. The drought continues, Clay. Hickman step back three. Anderson will gather up the miss. Bowen Bourne taking it in, and he'll draw the contact. And Hardke will have his second personal foul. Now ESPN Big Monday, doubleheader number 21, Virginia and Virginia Tech at 7 Eastern. Then that big one in the Big 12 between number 10, Iowa State, and number 3, Houston. First year in the league, 9 Eastern time. It's Monday on ESPN. TJ Altselberger, Iowa State, candidate for Big 12 Coach of the Year. He's done a nice job. So Hickman's going to go to the bench. Duke Dean comes back on the floor. He's got three fouls. Good recognition that time by Bourne in transition. He had Hartke on him. Forced the action, able to draw the foul. And in that scoring drought by the Panthers. The Cloud Center crowd coming alive here, trying to get this team to wake up. As Nate Heisey commits the foul, it's his first today. Bradley has shot 50% here in the second half. And another trip to the free throw line for the Braves. And 17 of 17. Leons has made 18 straight going back to the last game. And as I say that, he misses. Chance to... Get this back to a double-digit lead for UNI, but they throw it away. Davis steps into the lane. Out for Dean, wide open for three. You bet! Duke Dean, his first three, and he rings the bell, and that could be a loud cry for this Bradley offense. Well, it's off a turnover. They're able to go downhill. Dean with a step in three gets the lid off. We've been waiting to hear from this guy. Well, this is a great ball move. They kick it around. The defense is still isn't set. Great penetration. Step in three ball. Here come the Braves. Wow. This new Charmin Ultra Soft Smooth Tear is so soft and so smooth. I'm starting to get tearied away. Ah, thank you, Mr. Smooth Bear. Designed with smooth tear edges, new Charmin Ultra Soft Smooth Tear has wavy perforations that tear so much better for a smooth, more enjoyable go. Mm. Hmm? Mom, you okay in there? I'm terrific. Enjoy the go with Charmin. Arby's crispy fish sandwiches still don't fit on the bun. Arby's sincerely apologizes for continuing to make big old sandwiches. Arby's, we have the meat. Kia, movement that inspires. I think we need a bigger yard. With our credit? 
This yard's fine. Go long. Too long. But I'm not here. I found you. Yeah. Look, Credit Karma can show us how to improve our credit for free. Then we can get a place at the bigger yard. You hear that, Nora? Yay. From free credit scores to home loans and everything in between. Intuit Credit Karma. Download the app today. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Bradley trying to come back from 21 down. With under 10 minutes to go in regulation. Malibai Leonce has been a difference maker here in the second half, Kevin. They've got it to sixth. They've done it behind the Dutchman Leonce as he scored around the rim for the Braves. And he got the desperation three to go. 11 points in the second half for Malibai Leonce. And he's been the free throw line where he's hit six of seven. Quiet first half. And he's waking up here in the second. And Bradley doing defensively, Kevin, what they are known to do. They averaged 13 forced turnovers per game. They're one of the best defensive mid-major teams in the country. And they have turned Northern Iowa over five times in the Panthers' last nine possessions. Well, we talk about their length on the glass and blocking shots, but their length creates disruption in the passing lanes. We do six. For Northern Iowa, they have never trailed in the game. Different lineup for Bradley Graves with Hannah and Jonovic in together. Bradley going big, Hannah backing down, Titan Anderson and company. Mercy. That's, that's his sweet spot right there. Darius Hannah gets over that right shoulder. He shoots at 65% from the field. Yeah, that's second best in the valley behind. Darnell Brody at Drake. Back in the zone. Nine minutes to go. Lead is just four for the Panthers. Five on the shot clock from the corner. Heisey. Those were falling in the first half. They like the zone with R.J. Taylor, and they're not a great three-point shooter. The Panthers are only three guys that can make threes, or two players that make threes. Dean didn't get the floater to go. There's going to be a foul inside. And it's on Ahmet Jonovic, his fourth. Working the offensive glass, and that is going to put Northern Iowa at the free throw line. Those are big free throws. Both of these teams really solid at the line. And Brian Wool back with his more traditional lineup with Dean and Hickman in the backcourt. Moving Hannah back at the five spot as Jonovic takes a seat. In Northern Iowa, you know, we talked about the turnovers just setting up offensively in the in the half court. They haven't been able to do it like they were in the first half when they set themselves up for eight threes. Just one made three here since halftime. But Bradley has done it because they've been able to score and set their defense. Bradley, one of the better defensive teams in the league. That's their DNA. If they can get it set, they use that length. Yeah. And they're connected defensively. The Braves, great communication. Now, high Z. Now his hand in the passing lane. 14 on the shot clock for the Braves, who are within six. You see the bench points. Boy, what, what a what a first half from that bench for Northern Iowa. 18 bench points, just one since halftime. But that has been one of the major stories of this day. Wolf, Taylor, they've all contributed. Duax. Leon's going to work again with two on the shot clock. Missed it. The stick back by Hannah. It rolled off the rim. Now well, Hudson is fouled, and he'll go to the line.
You can see Brad, they're trying to swarm the offensive glass. This is one of the best rebounding teams offensively in the league. They wear you down with this link, but that time a foul come over the top. Leon's coming over the back of Hudson. Hudson four for four at the line today. That's half of his eight points. He gets another one. Yeah, both teams have really shot it well at the line today. I, I like what I've seen from Hudson. And as Ben Jacobson said, we didn't have an inside presence because Austin's Fife's long haul COVID, they kind of played without a true post. And Hudson has given that presence inside offensively and defensively. Northern Iowa's last six points have come at the line. And it's back to an eight-point lead as Dean gets it into the front court with eight minutes to go. Leon's shot fake. Decides to hang on to it. Shot clock at six. Davis tries to save it and does. Corner three doesn't go. Kept alive by Davis. Davis as good as any for the Braves at chasing down the long rebounds at the offensive end. Hickman flashes. And there's a foul. Another holding call. And it's 7.28 to go. Northern Iowa still leading, but Bradley has made it interesting here in the second half. When you have a history of greatness, the real challenge starts after the finish line. When victory alone isn't enough, you raise your bar, keep dreaming, and go beyond the limits of what you ever thought possible. The new 2024 Ridgeline Passport and Pilot, part of our most rugged trail sport lineup yet. From Honda. the internet again. Oh, it's coming in really fast. Yeah, it's Verizon 5G. The network is crazy powerful. I bet you can't break that. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I can. Wait, what? Beyonce breaks the internet, but can she break Verizon? Broken? Not even close. No. I'm running for Beyonce of the United States. Can you hear me now? No breaking. Y'all ready for Rocket B? Still works. Someone get me down. When you automate sales tax with Avalara, you don't have to worry about things like changing tax rates, exemption certificates, or filing returns. Avalara. Tomorrow, ESPN has a President's Day NHL matinee doubleheader. The Blues hosting Austin Matthews and the Maple Leafs at 1 Eastern, noon Central. Then the Red Wings are in Seattle squaring off against the Kraken. NHL on ESPN tomorrow on ESPN. I know, uh, you know, President's Day is a big holiday at the Lehman household, so you can celebrate with the NHL. Uh, you know, speaking of hockey, how about Nate Heisey's sister, Taylor? She was the number one draft pick in the Professional Women's Hockey League which is uh, having a great first year. She's playing for Team Minnesota. She led the Gophers in scoring when she played ice hockey in college. And we asked Nate how long he played hockey. He gave it up in eighth grade to concentrate on basketball. Pretty good decision, I think. <laughs> Hickman missed the first free throw, but gets the second as Bradley is within eight. Now seven. Their defense has been stellar here in the second half. Holding Golden Iowa to 16% from the field. Taylor pushes, gets it to Anderson, missed the bunny, and he tipped it back up and in. Pogo stick. That second effort by Titan Anderson. Just the third field goal for the Panthers here in the second half. Big basket against all that length and height. The front line of the Braves. Hickman got the roll. Connor Hickman. 
and has been pretty quiet here in the second half, but if he heats up, look out. He can catch fire. He has that ability to get into the paint and make plays. He needs his running mate, Duke Dean, to get going from the three-point line. Here's Nate Heisey to flip it back out for Anderson with six and a half to play. Ten on the shot clock. Leons reached in on him. Leon's usually a really hard to get around, but Anderson forced him to foul, and that is number four on Malibu. Great matchup there with Titan Anderson, the left-hander. He's deceptive with that in-out move in Leon's last year's Valley Defensive Player of the Year. Anderson won that battle. So Leon's is going to sit down. Jonovic comes back in. And as well as Leon's has played here in the second half, uh, that's disappointing that Brian Wardle has to take Leon's out. He can't sit him very long, Clay. That puts Hannah as the four-man. Hannah range goes to about 12 feet where Hannah can knock in threes. They won't be able to space their offense as well with this lineup. Timeout called by Northern Iowa. Nine-point lead for the Panthers. Again, this is big for both of these teams as they've got their eyes set on St. Louis. They know that they're going to have to win Arch Madness to get into the NCAA tournament. And if you finish in the top four in the regular season, that means you don't have to play in the first round on Thursday. It, it's never happened, somebody winning four games in St. Louis. So if they can get a, a first round bye, that's everything. It's so rare, Clay. In 33 years, only two teams have come from that Thursday night so-called playing game and gotten to Sunday. It's only happened twice. And no one's ever won it. No one has ever won it. So that's why you look at these standings, so important for Northern Iowa to climb up there with Southern Illinois. Now, well, Drake, it looks like they're going to be in a first-place tie with Indiana State at the end of the day, handing it to Murray State in Des Moines. Belmont with a win today, a dangerous team. Belmont Bruins with Jacoby Gillespie healthy again, coming off the broken hand. Both teams in the double bonus. Both teams have shot it well from the line today. Dean misses the three. Taylor sprints ahead into the front court. He had a great first down. I was going to say, they, have, they got great minutes out of Taylor at both ends of the court. Knocked in that big three, but his defense on Dean has been stellar. R.J. Taylor. 5'11", freshman out of Michigan. On the baseline, that ball was kicked. He's going to stay on this end. Just six on the shot clock. See what Ben Jacobson calls for here as Campbell will be the trigger man. He's been a starter virtually all season. Got it to Anderson, flips it up, got his own miss. Hudson right there to vacuum it up and score. We talked all game about the offensive rebound and link of Bradley. It's been the Panthers on the glass on that possession. Boy, Brian Wardle is upset about the effort on the glass. And he has to call a timeout with 5.32 to go. Well, this is an ISO play. They like to run out of bounds. They got Anderson isolated. He usually goes left, but again, the pogo stick up, and then Hudson picking up the loose change for the Panthers. I think the ire of Wardle there was on the seven-footer, Jonovic, who turned his back to the play on the second miss. And that allowed Hudson to get free for the score. And Clay, you talked about earlier how Leon's went out with that fourth foul, put that lineup of Jonovic and Hanna. You see Bourne and Hudson. Heisey with, uh, with quiet the in the second half. Yeah, he has, he has been quiet. In fact, he has not scored since halftime. But other guys are stepping up for Ben Jacobson's squad. Now, this would be a big win for Ben's team again trying to win two in a row for the first time in a month and even the season series with the Braves Hickman catch and shoot three Hannah will pull it back out 
Bruce will get another shot clock. Hickman dumps it inside. Here's Dean for three. And Hudson corrals that rebound. Lyons had a layoff because he had four fouls. Backed off and let Hudson take that. Crowd was ready to erupt. And Campbell goes airborne to get that rebound. It's a, it's a big empty possession for Bradley. Four and a half to go. Isaac dumps it down. Hudson's going to get to the line. Boy, Heisey's made a few passes like that today. And again, even though he hasn't scored here in the second half, he's still making contributions. He made a great read on that ball screen. Is there a drop coverage? Able to turn the corner, and they get Hannah in no man's land in the dump off to Hudson. Well, ACC women's basketball on Monday. Tomorrow on ESPN2, going to have number 16 Notre Dame at Duke. And Cameron Indoor coverage begins at 7 Eastern here on ESPN2. And bounces down for Hudson. What a day for him at the foul line. He's thinking the same thing. He's 8 for 8. Hudson has stepped up huge for the Panthers. Just like that, the lead back to 13. Oh, and Dean quiets the crowd with a much-needed three. They got went behind on the ball screen. You cannot do that on Duke Dean. Doesn't need much space to get that three ball off. Bradley cut it to four at one point here in the second half, but Northern Iowa has a double-digit lead. That spins out for Taylor. Kept alive by Heisey. Heisey hasn't scored, but he's affected the game in so many other ways. That's a shot clock violation. That didn't hit the rim for Campbell. And so Bradley will get it back. We're going to step aside. 3.23 to go here at McLeod. Boy, Northern Iowa's had a lot of fight today. And Ben Jacobson saying, hey, crowd, stay in this game. We need to finish strong. When you have a history of greatness, the real challenge starts after the finish line. Victory alone isn't enough. You raise your bar, keep dreaming, and go beyond the limits of what you ever thought possible. The new 2024 Ridgeline Passport and Pilot, part of our most rugged trail sport lineup yet. From Honda. Classic roast beef and crispy fish? Just two for six bucks? If Arby's wasn't already at Arby's, it'd be on its way to Arby's right now. Arby's, we have the meat. Don't make me get up out my seat. Right. Broke the internet again. Oh, it's coming in really fast. Yeah, it's Verizon 5G. The network is crazy powerful. I bet you can't break that. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I can. Wait, what? Beyonce breaks the internet, but can she break Verizon? Broken? Not even close. No. I'm running for Beyonce of the United States. Can you hear me now? No breaking. Y'all ready for Rocket B? Still works. Someone get me down. The rush to the playoffs. The biggest games. The biggest stage. The Stanley Cup Final returns on ABC and ESPN+. Plus. But Hudson, Hudson played well against him last game, didn't he? This is the UNI team that's 13 scares. and 6. That's at 13. And he said.
All right, Kevin, thank you very much. It's a 10-point lead for Northern Iowa. Bradley pulled to within 55-51 after trailing by 21 points at one juncture. Well, they have missed seven of their last nine shots. And Northern Iowa has done what it is needed to do, especially at the foul line, Kevin, in the later moments of the second half. 20-23 from the foul line. Hudson is 8 for 8, and he normally shoots in the mid-50s for the Panthers from the free throw line. Titan Anderson with a career high, tying 11 rebounds here today. Bradley trying to keep it alive, can't do it. As Hardke tried to save it, but it's out of bounds to Northern Iowa with just over three minutes to go. Now, it looked if Leon was going to get an easy dump off, an easy two, but active, quick hands by the Panthers. Duke Dean on the bench and Bowen Bourne on the bench for the Panthers. Dean on the bench for the Bradley Braves. Here he comes. Duke Dean. And Dean getting ready to check in. Pants will be patient. Heisey wide open look for three. At the short, Hardke will corral it. Bradley can't waste too many possessions. Down 10. Hickman bounces in off the window. Caught the square and went in. That's the spark that the Braves need. Bradley within seven. They stay in the zone. Need another stop. Northern Iowa just one three-point make here in the second half after hitting eight in the first half. Anderson shot fake. Here's Heisey again. Got it. That's what you and I was waiting for. The one player on the floor that Bradley needs to know where he's at. They lost him on the reversal. Heisey been quiet the entire second half. Rings the bell from the corner for the Panthers. How about Bowen Bourne? Gets up off the bench. First one out there to congratulate Heisey on hitting a big shot. They took their time on this, and the penetration by Titan Anderson froze the defense. Hartke, party on the recovery. Big one for the Panthers. Career year for Nate Heisey, the 6'5 junior out of Lake City, Minnesota. Remember Randy Brewer, who played at the oh, University yes. of Minnesota, big seven-footer? He's from Lake City. That's a good piece of trivia. So, Heisey played two games last year, broke the thumb and sat out. New perspective. Saw the game from a different angle. He has been the leader in points, assists, and rebounds for the Panthers. So Bradley out of the timeout. We've still got time. You got to take away the threes if you're the Panthers. Hickman. There's oh. another three off the window. Two in a row for Hickman. Now they need to get their hands on the ball. Either deflection or a turnover. Taylor, great job splitting the defense. Taylor's gone a long distance here in the second half. Bourne has stayed on the bench. Gonna trap. Stripped. Dean will step into a three. Got his own miss, but throws it into the backcourt. That's going to be an over and back. 58 seconds left. Man, if Dean had hit that. I liked his decision. Pull up, open three. Just left it short, and they couldn't keep a hold of the rebound. Now they've got.
Man, if Dean had hit that. I liked his decision. Pull up, open three. Just left it short, and they couldn't keep a hold of the rebound. Now they've got to come out here and trap that first pass, try to get a handle deflection. If not, they have to foul. And Dean has only played 30 minutes today. It's been a tough day for him, 11 points. Northern Iowa's done a great job defending him. Precious seconds ticking away for Bradley. Leons is going to reach in, and that's going to be his fifth. So Malavai Leons will leave the game with 46 seconds left. The Braves waste a lot of time before deciding to foul. Then Leons has to commit the foul, and he's going to take an exit. He leaves with 16 points. And 11 of them coming in the second half. It, he really got Bradley back into this game here in the second half. Had that flurry where he scored inside and hit the big three as the shot clock court went off. And did a great job at the foul line. Six of seven at the line. But he fouls out. Hey, Northern Iowa, you got to get the ball inbounded. Or they're going to be at the free throw line, and you have to put some subtle pressure on Bradley coming up the court and take away the threes. Bradley wants to ball screen and go fast. They still have time. Trey Campbell good at the line, very consistent, 80%. He is so cool, calm, and collected. The South Florida Cedar Falls High School. The same move. school that produced A.J. Green. A.J. Green here today. Hoping to see Northern Iowa walk out of here with a big win today. Bradley's going to slack off. 20 seconds to go. This is going to be a wire-to-wire -wire win for Northern Iowa as Anderson's going to go back to the line with 12 seconds left. And that's going to be five on Jonovic, too. I mean, Jonovic fouls out with... His fifth foul, he's, he's going to leave with two points today. Ben Jackson trusted his bench in the first half, Clay. Got great production. Four threes from his bench personnel. You know, Bradley, very tough schedule the last four games. They're at Missouri State. They're going to host their biggest rival, Illinois State. Host Southern Illinois. That won't be easy. And then they finish at Drake. So they're trying to finish in the top four with this laying ahead of them. Missouri State, a dangerous team. I was down there yesterday, their win over Valpo, and you mentioned Illinois State. That is a rivalry just down the road. That when strange things happen. Illinois State, a team that beat Indiana State, and they're ranked in 23rd in the nation. That's going to do it. Northern Iowa, a wire-to-wire -wire win. 74-63 as they go to 9-7 and seven in the Missouri Valley Conference and are in a tie for fourth in the league with two weeks to go. For Kevin Lehman and our entire crew, I'm Clay Matvick saying so long from Cedar Falls, a good win for the Panthers.